Hi everyone, welcome back to the next part in the uh, Dark Angels Chaplain Brush Demon Masterclass. And in this video I said that we'd be focusing on painting his face so that we could get on with finishing the assembly of the two main parts of the body. Uh, and so that's what we're going to be getting on with in this video. Okay, so paints you're going to need for this video are Acadian Flesh Tone, Rhinox Hide, Doombull Brown, Abaddon Black, Administratum Grey, Ushapti Bone, Cantor Blue, Corn Red, White Scar, Lead Belcher, Nun Oil Gloss, Black Templar Contrast Paint, Stormhost Silver, Bala Brown, Avalanche Sunset, Screaming Skull, Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, Wild Rider Red, Troll Slayer Orange, and Uriel Yellow. Okay, so first we need to start by painting the flesh, I think. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone, water that down 50-50 mix. What we're going to do, we're going to build up a nice solid base coat, some nice thin layers, not to obscure any of the detail. Now he's got like a metal area on his face, sort of like a repair to his skull. I'm sure there's probably some 40k name for it, which we're going to leave because that is going to be painted in a like a metallic color. But it sort of comes just to below his cheekbone. going to take a few coats to go after that nice solid smooth base coat it's going to set up all the other layers don't worry if it's going to look patchy at the moment it'll all come good in the end Same thing for the back, that will all be uh, metallic as well. We're going to leave all of that. Being very careful not to fill in the detail around the eye socket 
it's um, very fine detail. It wouldn't take much to actually clog all of that up and then it's not going to look as good once we start to uh, shade and highlight and add the detail in.
Okay, so um, that's uh, all the base coat done now. Some pretty nice solid base coat. Uh, so that will allow us to move on to all the shading and highlighting next. So what we're going to do next now is we need to start shading down the face, start bringing out the detail. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Doombull Brown and we're going to water this down to a wash consistency. And just so I can show you consistency. Sort of like that. Now what we want to do now is we want to apply what I call, or rather what everybody calls, um, a controlled wash. Probably too much paint on my brush at the minute, but controlled washes, we just sort of focus them where you're going to need them in the recesses. You don't go splashing it all over the place. You could apply an all over wash, but find that just increases the amount of work you've got to do later on. Keeping that focused around the detail. We'll neaten it up later. So we're applying it around where the skin will be touching the uh, metallic details, and what will become the metallic details. Under the nose. I'm always worried about painting this on camera because this stage does look pretty horrendous. You've got to do it this way, but you've got to do it this way. Have a have a bit of faith. If you're looking at yours and it's uh, not looking that great. Okay, so just a sort of reinforcing it in around the eye. Now what we do is we leave that dry. Um, don't get tempted to play around with it like I always say. It won't take long to dry, but if you start playing around with it too soon, when you put your brush on the model, it draws the wash out of the recesses um, and you're not going to get the effect that we're after. So leave that dry and then we'll come back and apply the uh, slightly darker shade then. So what we'll need to do now is we're going to do the same thing as the previous step, but we're going to go a little darker. Um, so we're going to take some Rhinox Hide and again, we're going to water this down to a nice wash consistency. So you're probably looking at about three parts, one part paint to four parts water. Like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add that into the eye socket around here. All around the detail where the skin is going to meet the metal areas. All around the back, those little details around the side of the head, around where the pipe's going into the side of his head, underneath here. Under the nose, under the cheekbone.
Okay, and that's it. We'll leave that dry again now. Don't mess around with it too much. And then we're going to come back and we'll start smoothing out some of these transitions uh, and highlighting up the face, tidying it all up. Okay, so next we need to start applying a bit of a mid-tone. Um, so what we're going to take is Cadian Flesh Tone, Ushakti Bone, and Administratum Grey. And that's in a two parts Cadian Flesh Tone to one part Ushakti Bone and one part Administratum Grey. Water it down to sort of this consistency. And what we want to start doing is applying it to all the raised areas. We're going to be covering up quite a lot of pre previous co coats. This is where we start to tidy up.
Okay, so um, that's the mid-tone, built up quite a nice solid colour. So we move on to some more highlights. Okay, so for the next stage we need to uh, take some Cadian Flesh Tone and Ushapti Bone. Uh, it's a 50-50 mix. Sort of this consistency. And what we need to do, we need to start focusing on the upper parts of this flesh. Okay, so that's that stage done. We'll uh, move on to another highlight. Okay, so next we need to take some pure Ushapti bone. Water it down 50-50. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, again, apply this to the raised areas of the face. Bridge of the nose.
Okay. A um, couple more highlights and then we'll be uh, be pretty much done. We can move on to uh, the details. Okay, so now we need to start actually introducing some colour to the skin because uh, human skin is made up of all sorts of little nuances. It's not just one one shade or one tone. So what we need to do is we're going to take some, because this is quick, it's a quick step, we're going to mix up two colours in one go. So we're going to take some corn red and your shapti bone and canto blue and your shapti bone. Both 50-50 mixes. And we're going to water these down to a very thin glaze. So this type of consistency. And... that and this will add some nuances to the skin and help make it a little bit look a little bit more lifelike and what we're going to do is we're going to glaze the bottom from lip with the uh, corn red and shapti bone mix and same with the canto blue just going to glaze that in there. Just give a little bit of interest to the skin and make it a bit more believable that it's actually alive. Not overdoing it, you don't want him to look like a clown or if he's wearing makeup or anything like that. It's just. Okay, so I think that's probably about enough. Okay, so for the final skin highlight then, what we're going to do is we're going to take some pure white scar. Water that down quite heavily. Another glaze consistency. And this is going to be used sparingly on the face. It's going to, going to help give the face some uh, expression. This has got to be used sparingly because you don't want to spoil all the previous stages. And then, as I always do, add some detail to the bottom lip with the white.
Okay, so um, that's the face pretty much done. What I'll do is, um, once we've done the metallics, I may go back and add some red nuances around where the metallic part of the fit skull touches the uh, comes into contact with the, the skin to show some agitation, make it look a bit redder so all around this detail. But next we need to uh, do the eye detail and pick out the teeth and the tongue in his open mouth. So uh, yeah, that'll be the next step. Okay, so next we're going to pick out the, the tongue and the teeth. So to start with, we need to mix a 50-50 mix of Canto Blue and Corn Red. I'm just going to apply that all over the tongue. A little bit of a base coat, dark purpley red. Then we're going to highlight it with some corn red and water that down 50-50. Like that and then we're going to just pick out the um, tongue it's not picking it up very much but like that you can just about make it out and then we're going to take some of the previous shakti bone it's still wet so we might as well use it and we're going to add a very tiny highlight to the tongue. Hardly anything at all. I'll take photographs because it's looking really harsh on camera, all of this. But um, yeah, so the tongue is sort of picked out now. Okay, that's that. So then, to pick the teeth out, like I always like to do, take some administratum grey, water that down. This sort of consistency. And then, we're going to pick out the teeth. Now this is just going to be a base coat, and then we'll actually try and apply the, the individual teeth in. Just gotta take your time. Don't wanna slip with a brush now. That's the top in. And then with a steady hand, I'm painting in that bottom teeth, those bottom teeth, sorry. Trying to get the brush at the right angle. Okay, so that's the uh base coat of the teeth. Now what we'll do is we'll take some pure white scar and we'll try to uh, paint in those little teeth or just hint that they're individual teeth so We're just dotting it on, leaving some of the administratum grey showing through.
Okay, we'll move on to the eye and then we'll do the metallics then. Okay, so to start painting the eyes, what we do normally do is we uh, black them out with some Abaddon Black to start with. Here's Abaddon Black. Like that. And then we're going to very carefully paint in that eyeball with Abaddon Black. Be very careful not to damage all the paintwork that we've already done. Like that we let that dry it's quite thin paint so leave that dry for a couple of minutes then we're going to take some white scar water that down slightly 50 50 mix and then very very carefully we're going to paint in that eyeball Like that and then taking some of the chaos black uh, the abaddon black then again I'm going to paint in that, that pupil like that job done so the next thing will be to um, tackle the metallic areas so all the way around will all be uh, like a steel color so that'll be the next step So next, I want to paint all of the metal areas, including the part of his skull, in a nice bluish steel. So to do that, we will take some lead belcher as a base coat. Water that down slightly, not too much. We're going to apply that as a base coat all over the miniature. very careful not to get any on the skin Now the first coat of metallics when you put it on it always looks pretty pretty poor um, it's like all the other paints you do need to build up a nice solid base coat so don't worry too much it's looking patchy it takes a bit of work a bit of patience main thing is that we don't get any of the, the little platelets on that skin 
when I'm painting metallics, I usually use a, a separate pot of water and a brush, a separate brush I keep just for my metallics, just so you don't contaminate your paint with those little metallic uh, platelets. I've always struggled with my metallics. Up until quite recently, I was never happy with how my metallics came out, my true metallics, and my non-metal metallics as well, for that matter. But um, something sort of clicked last few years. The trick to good metallics, it's not really a trick, but is the contrast. In order for the shiny parts to be look really shiny, the shaded areas need to be very dark so that there's no shininess to it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to matte down the darkest areas so much that it's almost black. And then when you add the, the final edge highlight then with the, the lightest silver, it really does make the, the metallics pop. Looking better now, nice solid coverage. Okay, so that's the uh, base coat done now, looking pretty solid. So we to this now we're going to start to shade this down. Okay, so next we're going to take some nun oil gloss and black templar. Water that down slightly, like that. That's probably 50-50 nano oil gloss and contrast black templar. And it's got like a bluey green finish to it, which is quite nice for steelwork. So what we're going to do then is we're going to wash this all over. You can see it starts to bring out the, uh, the details in the metalwork. Be careful not to get it on the skin again. It really starts to bring out the uh, details.
I may give that a second wash. I'm going to let that dry um, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll give it a second wash. we're really trying to do is we're trying to dull down the shine of that lead belt base coat so that when we apply the the light silver highlight on the edges you get that nice sharp contrast between the two which is sort of the key to nice metallics When we're picking out the details at the very end, once we've done most of the miniature, we'll pick out, the, I think we'll pick out these little details of these little buttons so that they're sort of glowing. Add a bit more interest, but for now, so that the bulk of the head is done, we'll obviously do the eye, the OSL for the eye, the cable going into the side of his head, but and, and all the metallic areas, but then I think we'll, we'll leave that and then we'll go on. Otherwise this video is going to be incredibly long, picking out all of these little details. I don't want to get I don't want it to get boring for you guys either. I think this video is going to be long as it is, so Okay, so that's the shading done now, I think. Um, yeah, so that's knocked it back quite a lot. Then what we'll do next is the sharp edge highlight now to um, pick out the details. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some Stormhost Silver, water it down slightly, so sort of this consistency. And what we're going to do is we're going to just use it to pick out the tops of the details where the light is going to catch Tops of the details. Mm. 
And that's all you need to do really is this top edge highlight together with the, the shading that we've done really makes the makes it look like it's really shining Not forgetting that these need to be highlighted as well, so. Painting in that reflection, not getting tempted to just go around every single detail all the way around. Paying attention to where that, if this was normal paint, where the, the lightest highlight would be. And then the contrast between the dark and the, the final highlight really makes the metallics shine then.
So up through these, that's this ribbing, and then up this plate, as if you would if it was a piece of painted armor. Get that reflection coming all the way up. So you just want to sort of build it, build the uh, effect up slowly. So you're you're almost glazing that that highlight on because you don't want a definite line down because it's not going to give you a very believable shine. You can uh, see that. It's got a nice realistic shine now on, on that corner of the skull. And the details. Hopefully it's picking out the details nicely now. You can see that there. That side. Okay, so that's the metallics done. Okay, so that's how the uh, face is looking now, with all the metallics. So next we're going to do the bionic eye. Um, we're going to do that in a, a, a nice red with some OSL. So to start with, we're going to take some corn red as a base coat. Water that down, 50-50 like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint in that bionic eyeball there in the corn red. Careful not to get it on any of the flesh that we've painted. Like that but now because it's going to be glowing what we need to do is we need to water the corn red down a little bit more it's a thin glaze I'm going to carefully glaze that on to the lower part of the metallic area Let that dry. Leave that as it is now. Then we're going to take some. Mephiston red. Again, we're going to water that down 50 50. We're going to paint that onto the eyeball again. Trying to keep the uh, corn red around the edges.
Then we're going to take some Wild Rider Red, quite orange in colour. Water that down again. Now this is very similar to how I do orc eyes. Slowly working your way to the centre of that eyeball. Kind of pick out the, uh, the edge of this skull, the metallic area anyway. You don't want it to be too overpowering the OSL, anyway. it's a nice little subtle glow. Got to think about how much light that would actually give off as well. You don't want it to be overpowering the whole face. So it's that. And we'll take some Troll Slayer Orange. Water it down like that. Now again, slowly covering less and less area. that and we'll take some Uriel yellow and just want to get out of the palette that we haven't used <laughs> sorry for the length of this video guys um, it's just because we've had so many different parts to paint to get all of this done so really focusing in this little dot that and then to that Uriel yellow I'm gonna add a little dot of white scar like that and this is the very final little Okay, so that's the, the OSL. Hopefully that's looking pretty good. Um, so the only thing left on this head now is the hazard cable that I wanted to paint. That's going into the side of his head and uh, this will be the end of the video. Okay, so next we need to do the, uh, we need to paint the hazard cable that's coming out of the side of his head. So we're gonna take some Bala Brown and water this down 50-50. And what we're going to do is put a nice solid base coat of Bala Brown onto the cable. Leave that dry. So I'm going to leave that dry, I'm going to give that a couple more coats, I won't show you because it's pretty simple, pretty much what I've just done but a couple more coats so we get a nice solid base coat and we'll come back and we'll uh, start highlighting it up. Okay so that's uh, the Bala Brown base coat, probably took about three coats in the end to get a nice solid coverage. Next we're going to take some Avalon Sunset, water that down, 50-50 again. And then we're going to apply that to the top of the cable.
Okay, so that's that one done. Next, we're going to take some Uriel yellow, nice bright yellow. Water that down 50 50. We're going to again focus on the top of the cable. Drawing the brush upwards. And we're going to take some white scar, mix that with the uh, Uriel yellow. It's probably about 50 50 mix. Gonna apply that. Okay, so that's the yellow part of the cable highlighted up. Now I need to apply the black. I mean, two minds whether to red, whether to do it in red. I think we'll do it in red. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take some pure corn red, watered down 50-50. You've got to carefully start painting in these stripes now. Which way is best? Can you? Okay, and I'm just going to work these stripes all the way around. Trying to get a brush in there. So if it's not staying in focus and
Let me tidy these stripes up a little bit, I think. Um, Just neatening up some of the, uh, the stripes now, going back with the yellow, which is the Avalanche Sunset. Just trying to get the distribution right. Painting stripes is quite fiddly. Okay, so I think that's pretty even distribution there. Pattern's looking quite uniform. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the, <coughs> we're going to take some Shapti bone, water this down 50-50 mix, and with this, what you're going to do, you're going to apply a highlight all the way over the pipe to simulate the reflection coming from the top. Nice thin. Just slowly building it up. need to have a slight upwards reflection and that gives it the sort of appearance that it's a shiny cable it ties all the stripes together makes it a little bit more believable and the same thing then for the back here and as you come out down to the bottom it sort of gets less and less And I'm just going to shade the uh, shade the yellow slightly. Okay, so uh, one final step, which is to take some Doombol Brown, and we're going to water these down to a very thin glaze. Going to shade it around where the cable goes into the uh, head, top and bottom. Not much. Okay, and then um, we introduce the uh, Shapti Bone Highlight, where it's been knocked back a little bit by the glaze. And 
Okay, so just hopefully that's looking good. The red ties in with the red of the eye, um, and then it'll be the red of the bolster as well. So that's it looking from the back. Okay, so uh, that's the head all done now. That's the end of this video. Sorry if it's been a very long one, but um, I'll try and break it down a little bit better in the future parts. But uh, yeah, so I hope you like what you can see, and uh, I'll see you in the next video real soon. And remember, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys back here real soon.